What's happening? Oh no! How <laughs> did he die? I just killed him! So, today we are playing What Remains of Edith Finch. Um, it was recommended to me. Someone said if you like creepy, weird, strange, scary games, this is perfect for you. So, I thought I'd give it a go. So, so we'll see what it's all about. Sorry about that, I'm just making sure all my recording equipment's set up and everything. What Remains of Edith Finch. Now, I don't know anything about this game, never played it. Apparently it's really good. Right, so we're on some sort of boat. Right, 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 right. Oh, what's in my hand? A journal? <clears throat> okay, so R2 opens the page. It's going to make sense to you. No? And I'm sorry about that. I mean, That's quite right. Beginning with the house. Right. Let's walk, I guess. Just keep walking. That's a weird looking house I over there. Until I was 11, but yeah. I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Why not? Was you naughty? Could you not be trusted? I'm guessing you're Edith. What was this? Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Mark okay. Wrote, Open immediately. Seven years ago, obviously, wasn't that urgent. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Graphics aren't terrible, In room, to be honest with my you. Mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. What does it unlock? Maybe she thought I'd know. Maybe. She thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. All that. Right, let's keep walking. Should we go down here, I guess? Guess this is the right way. I've driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few have prints. Okay, so what? People on horses have come by here? Oh, a deer. He's gonna run. Oh, that's a shame. Can I follow it? No. Nope. Can't follow it. <clears throat> Even after I inherited the house. I oh, you inherited it. To it. Why didn't you sell it? I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. What are your questions? What are these questions? So that's the house. It's exactly like I remembered it. It's the really weird. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Yeah. Now, as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. And what was I that? I was afraid of the house. Oh, why? Why are you afraid of the house? It looks like a beautiful weird house. Right. I hope Is the key that what the key for? It didn't. Oh. So look for the letterbox. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Yeah, maybe. Just maybe. I haven't got anything else but to stand around waiting, has it? It's not really going to do anything else. Hmm. What's around there? They're quite modern looking recycling bins. And we're in. Going through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Could imagine when you were smaller it was. Right, let's have a look around. Oh, light switch. The power had been turned off the night we left. 
Oh, well, we need to get that power sorted out. Get that back on. For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. Well, it was your home. That's a lot of tins of tuna. Were you making tuna? No, they were making peeled tart apples. I oh, know that's what it is. They're making apple pie. Makes no sense. Why you got tins of tuna? Should we have a look around here? The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Why like did you leave gone. so hurriedly? Like everyone but sparing the furniture. What were they in such a hurry for that they've left everything around? Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Yes. What do you mean the house sank? Is that the original house? Not a bad looking house. Uh, a little bit creepy in here. Oh. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Why did she say stay out of the basement? What's down there? Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara. That is creepy. Of the house. That is extremely creepy. I don't like that. Why is Bigfoot standing in the background? Makes no sense. Unless Barbara, Grandpa is Bigfoot. Because look, that's Bigfoot. Wait, that looks like maybe they're on a set. Yeah, that's Barbara Finch. My friend Bigfoot. Ah, oh, I think Barbara might have been a little actress or something. Right. Nothing more we can do there. Anything here? Oh yeah, there we go. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. But what happened to Milton? A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that what last night. What is that? Is that chocolates? Looks like chocolates or something. Maybe it's... Foam stuff. Why is this door sealed? Let's look in there. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Okay. Why? Why would you bury people in the library? This game is a bit strange. I can hear a lot of creaking. Right, up we go. After Milton disappeared, mm. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Okay. Guess we're looking in each room. Gregory. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Let's look in this one. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. While he was dead? Or did he spend seven years with, of his life with him until he died? It didn't explain that that clear. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. Okay. This, uh, this game's a bit creepy. Okay. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. I think that's just a painting. Why do they do things like that? Molly. He's Molly. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. How did she die? How did Molly die? I need to know these things. Imagine we'll find out. What's this? Whenever oh. people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. My friend Bigfoot. Bigfoot? Bigfoot. There's that picture again. So yeah, she she's a little star actress. Right, what's in this room? This Barbara's room. Barbara was a child star for two years. Yeah. Until America grew out of it. Right. Horrible America. Growing out of it. 
But, you know. Mom was the block the third floor stairs on the night we left. Oh, that's a weird door to the third floor stairs, isn't it? This whole house is a bit weirdly built. Right. Let's figure out what to do. Anything here, right? Oh, there's a bedroom here. I spent here. a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Yes. Anything in there? I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Look at all the little sharks or whales or something. Maybe sharks, actually. What's that here? What do you think here? No. Right, so it me wants me to go husbands, here. But I never believed him. Okay, so that key unlocks a book. Interesting. My mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh. Oh, it's a hatch. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Yes, let's find out. That was a genius idea to lock something up. Oh, what's in there? From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. There's a cat. Goodness. Maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Oh, another drawing. This game's quite, quite, you know, nice looking, to be honest but with I you. I had no idea what was behind that door. No? Is there something scary? It's better be a scary, jump scary so game. I had no idea where all this was going to lead. No, me neither. Right. Should we look in your drawer? I grew Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Okay. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Yeah. So this is Molly's room. How old was Molly? Oh, I can interact with that. Let's interact with them. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. Why would you get sent to bed without I dinner? I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Okay. Okay. The gerbil food was dry, but Ooh. I didn't mind. She's eating the gerbil food. Nice. Alright, we're looking around for more stuff. What's that? My Halloween candy was all gone. Oh. Well, it was 13th of December. I would hope you didn't still have Halloween candy left. Oh, maybe you want to eat the fish. Or not. I thought about... I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Okay. Well, good for you. Good for you, little girl. Hmm. Oh, what else that? I kept eating and eating. Now you're eating toothpaste. Uh, was that nice? I ate a lot of things that night. And berries. I don't know if berries are good for you. You got. St I don't know if berries are good for you. They might be poisonous. Red berries aren't good, as far as I know. Right. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Oh, you did. There's a little bird. There's a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. No. She flew but away. Suddenly... Yeah. I was a cat. Oh. How did you do that? I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Hmm. Where is the bird? You're a fast little bird. Nowhere. Over there? No. Oh, no. No. Oh. 
Where do I go? The babies were all gone. Oh. I jumped and I almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Oh, you want to eat it? I thought you just wanted to play with it. Evil little girl. Suppose you are a cat. I think we can forgive you on this occasion. Strange little, little beautiful game. Strange and yeah, beautiful. Maybe we climb all the way out here. Or not. Where do I need to go? Maybe I went down there. Maybe not. So where is this bird gone? No birdie. Actually can't see the bird anymore. The birdie. Why can't I see the bird? I think I can hear it, I just can't see it. Idea where this bird's gone. Hmm. Where's the bird? Anybody? Maybe it's gone high. Can I go there? Ah. There it is. I gobbled her up. Oh, got it! And suddenly, I was an owl. An owl? First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Okay, let's go to the grass. Little teeth. Little T, where are you? Oh, I can hear it. Rabbits. Got it. She's a bit morbid. No? Alright, let's go. Alright, let's find something bigger. Right. 
what would be bigger than? A mummy rabbit. Oh, a mummy rabbit. That would be bigger. Let's get it. Got it. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. No. Oh. I was a shark. A shark, a shark in the tree. <laughs> this game is so strange. I'm just a rolling shark. Oh, and I hit a tree. So, what do I have to do? I just have to flip my way around. Okay. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Did indeed. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Well, these are hard to control. I want it back. Got it. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. This is crazy. Right. Are we looking for the same seal? Because we bit that one, so there should be a blood trail. Because if we're a shark we will be looking out for the scent of blood. There it is. Got it. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Yeah. Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. Right. What is that, a giant snake? But I moved real quiet. Oh, now we're eating people. Strange, strange little game. Right. Oh, yeah, let's go up these stairs. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. Okay. Why do I get outside? Got him! Seem to get that bird. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam. What is it? This game is really weird. Really weird. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Yeah. Well, you can move a lot quicker through these tunnels. What is that? Is that a toilet? Yes, it's a toilet. So where are we?
I got closer and closer. Wait, we're back in Molly's room. All my stomach started growling. Okay. And suddenly, that was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Delicious. <laughs> what? What just happened? What is this game? Someone please explain to me, what is this? I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. <coughs> so, alright, we can open this door. Yeah. <coughs> alright, we can step out into the balcony. It's obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. No. Edie would have, but Mom didn't like bringing up the past. Okay. Well, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Yeah? We got along, and it was a good place to hide from my mom. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Hmm. <laughs> What is? I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. So you were named after Edith your name. an interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Is this the sun? No. But it's just, it says... Another great sun offer, and that's Stonehenge. Might be wrong. Sun is, in case you don't know, a English newspaper. For 500 years, the Finches tabloid been not throughout Norway newspaper. for their fortune. And Odin fortune. Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. What? His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family. And his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington. Did he house sell his house from like DC. Norway to Washington, D.C.? Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Okay. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. I like the way this works. Oh, and we're back to the beginning. So, this is Odin. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Odin Ingeborg. Inge. Inge. Ingeborg. Right, let's shut the book. Where are we going? Okay. Saving. Any way out. Oh, what's Lewis this? died a week before we left, but How did he die? we started to memorialize him. How did he die? Oh, maybe can open the door? No. How do you get out of Sven's room? Do you go back the way you came? Have it up. No, no. Right. Um. Oh, well, there's another door here. Even in her nineties, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Whoa, that's extremely pink. What's in there? Okay. Anything here? No. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Yeah, which is extremely pink. No. It was a pretty big trace. Oh, there's a book there. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. 
I make a book. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Why are there so many secrets in this house? That's what Anne Frank needed. Something like this. Not exactly a secret though, because... Just push the chair out of the way. It's not like a door or anything. Right then. What are we doing here? Anything up here? Nope. Oh, there's a rope. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. No. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Oh, space helmet. And we can open it. And there's a letter in it. You gotta read it to me. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore. He'd never be afraid again. Okay. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. You actually got to control this by pulling the sticks back and forth on the controller. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Do what? I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Whoa, he's got really high. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Whoa, really high. And maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. Whoa, is he gonna go all the way around? That's Almost. That's what I remember about my brother. That's the going around now, right? Whoa! What's happening? Oh no! How <laughs> did he die? I just killed him! Oh my god! I think we're gonna call it there. Um, this has been What Remains of Edith Finch. Fun game, very, you know, it's just a little bit more of an exploring type game. And it's enjoyable. Um, uh, you know, not scary, but fun. Bit strange, bit weird. Can't wait to find out what's going to happen next. Um, if you guys want to find out what will happen next, please don't forget to leave likes. It's the likes that turn one video into a series. I will upload another one of these videos if I get, let's say, 15 likes on this video. It's not a lot to ask. It's just so I know that you guys are actually enjoying it. Anyway, guys, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, ding that little bell, and drop some comments below. Guys, take care of yourself, and as always, I will see you all soon. Goodbye!